All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do the last issue of Step by Step, uh, Step by Bloody Step, issue number four by Image Comics. Yeah, let's dive in. So it's been made by Sispurir. Uh, I'm butchering these names. Uh, Matthias Bergara, Matthias, Matthias Lopez, Emma Price, and Jim Campbell. So in the last issue, we see that the gentle giant... Uh, is destroyed, is killed, it's dead. And this young girl um, that the gentle giant protected through his whole time, for, oh, well, he or she or it, its whole time is now uh, very upset about what happened. And she tries to to get him. And also the parents of the, I'm not sure if it's daughter or also um, her son that's been killed in the last issue because there's a war broken out between I believe orcs and the the humans that lives in the castle. Um, check out my other videos if you know want to know the full context. But then this this invisible, well, not so invisible force is preventing her to get to the remains of the giant, which is a little bit weird because I do not know the whole uh, purpose of this um, force that prevents her all the time. Because normally, if she was going too far. From the giant, then there is a wall, also a wall coming up, preventing her to leave. But now she wants to go to the remains of the giant. Now it's also preventing for her to do that. I'm not sure why. So this emperor guy is, you know, looking amused because his plan worked. And she's here crying and waiting because she cannot, you know, go to him. And then the father of this, you know, uh, I believe the kid that he lost gives her, her the um, a part of the remains and says, hey, take it. And then she's taking it and she's going away. And the emperor is not doing anything because his plan worked, you know. So why stop her? Um, what is the purpose uh, why she is taking the remains of the giant? I'm not entirely sure. But um, she's carrying in this for a very long time and she's getting... I don't know, uh, attacked. And normally the giant would defend her from, you know, being attacked by all these creatures. And uh, and she wants to, you know, get away or attack, but, you know, it's all way too heavy. She cannot do it. But then um, she takes something out of the bag, throws it. <laughs> they're, having a, <laughs> they're having a fight of these, you know, a little bit pieces of fruit while she's getting away and escaping. Um after a very, very long time of walking through the, the blizzard and the elements, uh, she is reaching her destination. And we see this. Now, when I saw this, I immediately knew what's going on. And I had a little bit of a suspicion how it would end. But that's, you know, I was just guessing. Um, but, you know, seeing this, you can probably figure it out. But how exactly will it end, you know? Um, that's the mystery. Well, I'm going to show you anyway. So we see this tree here. And it was at the beginning of this comic as well. And this tree is, looks dead, destroyed. Uh, well, just dead. And um, there's an opening, some kind of a keyhole. But the keyhole is destroyed or broken. And the girl wants to, you know, insert that particular part piece here. But she can't do it because, well... It's broken. And then uh, she's about to giving up. And then this is happening. So um, there's a compartment here in the glove. And she sees all the things that she possessed when she was little until she grown up. And the gentle giant all kept it hidden, you know. Instead of throwing it away, he kept it, you know, as a reminder, I guess. Or not sure. But... She's feeling very emotional right now. But that she's determined to do something about it. She wants to go through with her mission, whatever that is. So she picks the thing up. And then this invisible force is back. And she's tried to push through and through. But it doesn't work. But she's keep pushing it. She's not giving up. She's very determined. And then this is happening. And I must say, I, I told you, I tell you again and again and again, also in the other issues... The art is fantastic. Um, the colors are great. 
see this moon here. Um, it's it's really really good. It's it's you know for a silent comic, this has so much emotion and expression, and 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 you know, uh, I I cannot really express what I'm feeling uh, when I read this comic from you know one till four. Um, there's so much going on. It's really really good. But then strange things are happening. We see parts of the past flashing next to her while she's pushing through. You know, things that she has experienced with the giant and what happened with her in the castle. You know, she's, you know, the, the, the things that she shouldn't have done. But I think also this is the part where she needed to go because while she's pushing through, she is now suddenly in the past again. So... I believe this was some kind of a she she pushed through time and then all these flashbacks was not coincidental coincidental or how do you say it I believe she was looking for the particular timeline where things went wrong and now she is here to make things right again which surprised me a little bit but also hey cool you know there's probably some magical element well there is magical element um, because it's a fantasy comic so the events is, is playing out, but then a little bit differently. So she bites her finger, and then she is leaving her blood here. Now, her blood is very special because her blood is causing nature to grow wildly. How? Don't know, but that's probably how it is. And then we see past events unfolding again. There's a war breaking out. Uh, orcs are invading. Um, the, the, the quote unquote good guys, I mean, the emperor is, is you know, um, sending this boy or girl to, to the slaughter, but then she's now, instead of, you know, having fun and drinking champagne, she is now doing something differently. Now that's, this is happening. So <laughs> like I said, her blood is causing nature to, um, to go wild and now the emperor is now being caught in this. He cannot do anything, not giving orders, etc. And she saves this, this kid here, right? Um, the gentle Jaya sees this. The orcas are invading. The parents are, you know, going to this kid here. And uh, we see all these soldiers think, oh, shit, this is not how, how things should go. And then the gentle giant comes in and um, protects them from harm while all these orcs are going around them. And then ramming through into this castle. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, Lord of the Rings or Dungeons and Dragons, I'm not sure. Or other, other high fantasy uh, comics or novels. And uh, yeah, so they are invading the castle. They are being, you know, the, the, the humans are being overwhelmed and being driven out of their homes. Well, the castle is also on fire. And then the emperor is here burning to death. <laughs> because he can't go anywhere. And then, um, so the father says, hey, we're going to go away. And they are, you know, saying their farewells. And then she's putting, you know, stuff out of the compartment because now she knows what's in here and she gives it to the kid. The thing that she made in the past. And they are waving her goodbye. Really nice. I also like the, uh, the, the lighting and it, the, the colors are so great. And... Um, so the gentle child said, hey, we need to go back. And she is hugging the giant because they are finally together again. And she saved him, although the giant doesn't know that. So they're going back to this tree, to this, con yeah, whatever it is. And the gentle giant is using the key to open it. And the giant is old now. So there's some kind of a life cycle and then starting to glow. And then there is a, a farewell between the girl and the giant. Because the giant is now dying. But not really. Because the, the energy that's been released is now going into the girl. And then there's a transformation going. Now the girl is starting to become the giant. Uh yeah, very, uh, very, what's 
poetic is probably not the right, the right word. But then, yeah, so the tree is now alive again because of probably the, the energies that are being released. And um, we see also that the tree is now releasing something. And that something is now a young girl. So, yeah, the cycle is now complete of life and resurrection. And then the story begins anew. And that's the end of this comic. As you can see here, uh, this is freaking fantastic. I, I love every second of it. There's also a trade paperback here, if you were interested in that collected edition, 160 pages. Um, yeah, really, really good. Uh, I like it a lot. Like I said, there's some things that I don't understand with the, the, the elemental force preventing her from doing what. Um, also, I'm not entirely sure what the purpose uh, is of this giant and the girl. Maybe it's some kind of a symbiosis, um, you know, like seeds from uh, flowers that's been released into the wild and then, I don't know, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, having life spring somewhere else and new. Um, so yeah, there's, there's some questions here, but overall it's, it's, it's pretty easy to, 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 to digest. And like I said, the art is freaking fantastic. It's, it's amazing. Uh, lots of beautiful art and colors, um, composition, uh, flow of the story. Um, like I said, there's no words needed exactly because you can read this comic and understand exactly what's going on. Maybe a little bit here, a little bit here and there is uh, some mystery, but that's okay. I like that. Guys, let me know what you think about this, this comic. Um, yeah. This is great. This is fantastic. This is a really wonderful comic. Highly recommend it for those who are interested in this kind of European style like comics. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.